All right. Welcome to our live cooking show with the amazing Yvonne Mafai. I want to thank our sponsors, Sharia Wiz, Iswa Halal and U.S. Muslim Chamber of Commerce, American Halal Council, Saffron Road, Standards and Metrology Institute for, uh, I can't see it, <laughs> for Islamic countries, Americans for Vibrant Palestinian Economy, Halal Watch World, Helping Hand, Guidance Residential, Ibrik Technologies, and H2 Growers. And now for a short video from one of our sponsors. We're all philosophers, pioneers with the mission to be brave, authentic, to immerse ourselves in new experiences, to share discoveries, creations, to keep the bad stuff out and make responsible choices. These are choices we make in our heads, our hearts, and on our table. And philosophies on food can mirror those in life. For over a decade, our mission has been to inspire and connect people through a shared love of delicious premium world cuisine. At Saffron Road, we see each meal as the next stop on your journey, an opportunity for discovery and personal growth. We explore international cuisines that combine bold flavors with high quality, wholesome ingredients from family farmers we know and trust. With every global culinary adventure, each simmering desire to progress for a cleaner and greener world, we look to chart a better course, better for the environment, better for farmers, for animals, better for your health. Because ethical food, free of artificial ingredients, antibiotics, or GMOs, transcends language, religion, and culture. So by eating it, making it, learning about it, and sharing it, our path is on a journey to better. Where will your journey take you? Saffron Road, journey to better. Ready? I can't hear you. Here we go. Oh, Can you okay. hear me now? Yes. All right. It's very nice to see you, Yvonne. Let me let me introduce you to our audience. Yvonne Mafai is a chef, food and travel writer, a cookbook author, an e-commerce entrepreneur, a public speaker, a food industry consultant, and a niche consumer marketing expert. She consults for food brands, and she is the founder of MyHalalKitchen.com. And... She, this is a platform for her readers, regardless of their religious or ethnic background, to showcase tasty recipes that she's learned to make or that others share with her, all of which are tested to ensure accuracy and, um, and uh, quality assurance for being halal. So I think um, that's probably, <laughs> we need to get, get you started cooking, can't wait. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Salam alaikum, everybody, and welcome to my Hello Kitchen. I am coming to you from California, and I've got some really great recipes to share with you from Saffron Road, our wonderful sponsor. I have been working with them for a long time, so I know their products are really great. And I'm gonna do two really quick uh, dinner recipes and also one snack recipe with their crunch chickpeas. I'm using their simmer sauces. One is the Thai mango and the other is lemongrass basil. And I'm gonna change these up with chicken and fish. So if you have fussy eaters, who somebody wants chicken one day, somebody wants fish another, you can do this really fast. So in the time that we have, I'm gonna show you how to put a meal on the table like that. So it's perfect for after work. Um, these, these simmer sauces are great also because they just help you infuse flavor into your food without having to deal with lots of different um, creams and sauces and creating your own. So if you're really busy, they've done all the work for you. And they're gluten-free, halal certified, wonderful. So the first one I'm doing, now I've got two pans on the table, or on the, on the stove, sorry. Uh, one over here, they're getting kind of hot, so I'm gonna have to take them off. I just sauteed some onion with, chill, with uh, green pepper. Green out of the hot pepper. I got it really hot. I tried to get it started before 
before we had the, the, the demo going because I knew we don't have a lot of time. So basically, each of the recipes are very, very similar uh, in their bases. I have onion, I have a small uh, serrano pepper, or you can use jalapeno, and we're gonna add some garlic to that. So I've chopped everything up. If you can chop these things up in the morning, for example, and before you go to work, or if you're working from home, chop everything up early in the morning, and then by the time it's you know time to cook, you can just throw this stuff in. So the simmer sauces, really you're just adding your protein, whether that's fish or chicken or tofu. So the first one I'm doing is with the Thai mango. Thai mango, I'm gonna add chicken to it. So I've already started sauteing onion and the serrano pepper, and now I'm just gonna add the chicken. I do about, I'd say for a family of four, you can get away with a half a pound of chicken if you really wanted to. I cut the pieces pretty small, so dice them up, or you know, small chunks. And that's gonna go back into this pan. I still it gets really hot really fast. So it's cooking now with uh, onion, serrano pepper, and chicken. Now the other pan, I'm going to do this uh, lemongrass basil, and I'm gonna add uh, wild Alaskan cod to this. So a same, same base, uh, onion, serrano pepper, and that's already started cooking. Now I'm gonna add my fish. So I just cut up wild Alaskan cod, I get this frozen. I prefer it frozen because it just, you know, once it's fresh and frozen, it's great from the supermarket uh, or the fishmonger. Uh, I cut it also into chunks. Again, a half a pound. Depends on how many people you're feeding, but you can get away with that. So, the chicken is cooking. And, let's see, the other pan, same exact process. I'm just adding the, the fish to this one. Now, in both of the dishes, my base for cooking oil is ghee, but you can use coconut oil. I think coconut oil would be great with the fish as well. Uh, I don't use olive oil here because just the taste would be very different. I hope you can hear me over all the crackling and, and, and cooking we've got going on here. So I just need a second to kind of turn it all around. have to do this but it's really nice to add some vegetables I really I encourage everybody to get lots of vegetables in the simmer sauces have great flavor the Thai mango has uh, and I can read some of the, the ingredients for you but it has ginger in it so you don't need to add the ginger if you have ground ginger or fresh ginger it's great but it's also a very medium spice so you don't need to add uh, any spices to it or medium medium heat, but I like to add a little bit more heat just because I like really spicy food. But to both of the dishes, we're gonna add uh, frozen peas and frozen beans, but that's gonna come after the simmer sauce gets added in. So I'm only adding the simmer sauces after the meat has cooked. So either the meat or the fish, once it's cooked, then I'll add the sauces in. And then I'm also gonna add some fresh herbs. I think fresh herbs are just make dishes look beautiful. I've got mint, I've got cilantro, I've got Thai basil, and I've got spring onions. So those are all going to go in and make the dish look really pretty and green on top. It also is going to add some flavor. Um, now I've, I've got garlic and I'm only adding garlic now because I didn't want it to burn with the onion. So just a little bit of garlic in each dish. Okay, now for some spices. You don't need that much spice because these, these simmer sauces are already so nicely flavored, but if you wanna add heat, that's great. You don't have to add a lot of salt either because they are salted, but not too much. Um, let's see, <laughs> there we go. Everything was on the tray. I add a little salt and a little pepper to each one, and right now when the meat is cooking, this is the time I'm gonna do that. Little salt and a little pepper. Freshly ground pepper is best, but I'm gonna add what I have. 
So as you can see, I got two pans going at the same time, which means you can have chicken and fish in the same night. <laughs> okay, now I've got a little bit of chili powder. And I might make one spicier than the other. I like this one with the Thai mango chicken because it just it's just really great with that. So just a little. And I've also got some paprika just because I want, I like the color and I like the flavor. So the paprika is gonna add some nice deep color to the chicken. Now, to the lemon dish, lemon, I'm gonna add uh, lemon, uh, <clears throat> lemon rind. And all you need is one of these little zesters and you peel off the skin like this and just add it in. Okay, we've got to give it a whirl because it needs to cook all around. And if you turn up the heat, if you turn up the heat, this will cook a little faster. So that's what we're doing here. And my cooking oil of choice is ghee because it just goes great. This flavor is great with the simmer sauces. I'm gonna add a little bit more in here actually. Because chicken without fat doesn't really kind of stick to the pan sometimes. You can even cover the pan and then it won't stick as much. So most of the meat is really nicely cooked right now. So I'm gonna start adding things. The lemongrass basil um, to the fish. And I'll show this to you when it's done. <laughs> but for now, we're going to let it cook. Now, the chicken, really nicely done. Okay, now we're adding the Thai mango simmer sauce to the chicken. Oh, it's beautiful, and it smells so good. When are they going to invent smell vision <laughs> Very nice. Okay, I keep some kitchen shears in here because I use scissors all the time. I used half of this bag last night, so I'm going to add another half for now for this dish. So they come in seven ounce bags, which one bag is perfect for a, a family of, you know, for, you know, for a dinner. Um, it works really great. Okay. I've already made some rice. So these dishes are gonna go on top of rice, but you can make them just the way they are with some nice bread, rustic bread or non bread. You know, it doesn't have to be rice, but that's the way I like to serve these two dishes. Now, since the sauces are cooking, I'm gonna add the, the peas and the beans. You can do fresh or frozen. Frozen's fine in my opinion. So they're both gonna get this. and they'll just defrost right in the pan. Really, really nice. Next, what I wanna do is chop up some herbs. I don't really use my cutting board for these. They're already nice and clean. And so I just add, I just cut them right into the pan. So this is cilantro. And we've got some Thai basil. Now Thai basil, I'm only going to put in my fish dish because it's got that lemongrass basil flavor. You can do it in both dishes. It doesn't matter. It's a little bit purple. It's got a little bit of a purple uh, color to it. I don't know if you can see that. It's not like your typical Italian basil and it's very pungent. So you don't really need a lot. 
We need to keep stirring this to make sure that it's nice and thick. Okay, these are looking so beautiful. And I'm going to plate them up for you in just a moment. So we just have to add some spring onion. So I've got some beautiful fresh spring onion. They're gonna go on top here too. And again, on top. Very nice. Now, these are already done. Because my pieces of chicken and fish were kind of small, it only took about 10 minutes to cook. Now, if the fish is frozen, you can still start cooking it frozen, and it will take a little bit longer. But if the fish is frozen, don't worry about it. Just throw it into the pan, it will defrost, and it will be fine. It just takes a little longer. So now I'm gonna plate them up. Some nice white rice I made. Of course, I like uh, arborio rice and sticky rice and, and um, whole grain rice, but you can have anything you want really. Okay, so here is our Thai mango chicken. Beautiful. Very delicious. And we'll add a sprig of fresh mint. If you guys can see that. Look how fast. Can you see? <laughs> I wish you could taste and smell. Beautiful. It looks delicious. You're, you're making everyone hungry. Oh, this is Thai mango is absolutely fabulous, especially if you add a little bit of kick to it with the chili powder. I really love it. They they do a great job because they, they give it to you mild flavored, so you can add whatever you know heat that you want. I'm, I just love that. Um, it looks so that's dish one. <laughs> I'll eat that for lunch. <laughs> and the second one is our lemongrass basil uh, fresh uh, at Atlantic wild wild Atla wild Atlantic cod. Why is that a tongue just twister? <laughs> okay. So someone is saying, could you please mail some by FedEx? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever invents that will be a trillionaire. <laughs> yeah, we really need to be able to smell these cooking shows virtually. <laughs> no, no, it's not fair. It's not fair that you don't get to, to smell it and taste it. But hopefully we'll have a live cooking show soon. We can all be out of the woods with this uh, situation and, and we can have people who actually come in and uh, taste the food. So here we go again with the fresh mint. So this is our lemongrass basil wild Alaskan cod with the um, lemongrass basil simmer sauce. Fantastic, mm. so fresh, mm -hmm. so good. Now, the last thing I wanna show you guys so families are sticking around the house, eating, you know, uh, watching Netflix or Hulu or whatever shows you guys are watching. And we're looking for like really healthy snacks these days. So Saffron Road has also provided these really cool uh, non-GMO crunchy chickpea snacks. So they've got sea salt and Bombay spice. Now what I like to do is make my own snack mixes with these. You can mix the two together or just do you know one at a time. But what I do, and these are just really great snacks for movies, movie nights, but also like when you're working, you know, we're working all day, looking for something to have with a cup of tea or, or something like that. I love the Bombay Spice, because again, I just love spicy food, but I add them to a bowl with, um, I don't know if you guys can see, I've got in here pecans, almonds, sunflower seeds, and uh, pumpkin seeds that are already shelled so you don't have to deal with the, the uh, skin. And you just sort of make your own quick mix. It's just so, so easy. And I just, uh, you can mix it up with the, the sea salt one. So you've kind of got like a little spice, a little salt, but not too much and all the healthy stuff because it's non-GMO. And um, again, I need my scissors here. 
But it really feels good to have something convenient that is also healthy and hello. That fits like all my criteria. So there you go. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the glass it is. Funky. Yeah, it's like a really nice quick snack. So between this and my two dinner recipes, where did the other one go? Here it is. <laughs> I think we're set for today. <laughs> it sure looks that way. And those two dishes literally took you 15 minutes from like yes. put, put the fish and the chicken in the pan and serve the plate. Exactly. I mean, it took longer because I was talking, right? Yeah. As long as you just kind of, um, you know, kind of have your things chopped up ahead of time. And literally that took me like five minutes this morning just to chop the onion and chop the garlic. And I keep my herbs. I keep all of my herbs when I get them from the grocery store. I keep them in a glass of water and put them in the fridge, except for basil. Basil doesn't like cold, but I put them in the fridge in a glass of water and they seem nice and fresh. And as you saw, I didn't bother chopping them on the chopping board. I just use my scissors and throw it right into the pan. So that's like really quick, really convenient, and everything is so healthy and fresh. So you can't lose, <laughs> especially when it's healthy and halal. Excellent. Well, thank, thank you very much for that, Yvonne. You're very welcome. And if anybody wants the recipes, I'm happy to put them on my website. Uh, just let me know. Excellent. Someone says uh, she likes the idea of using scissors to cut the herbs. Do, do, you, do you find that, um, uh, does it does it change the flavor if you use scissors versus chopping them up on a cutting board? I've never been asked that question, but it's like, it's actually a really valid question because probably chopping will give you more of that, uh, you know, condensed flavor, I guess, and, you know, but and, and, and with scissors, it's sort of a clean cut. Yeah, probably. I don't, I don't have a scientific answer for you on that one, but um, yeah. It's something to think about because my yeah. point is that cutting things like lettuce makes them a little bit more bitter because you're damaging them than sort of ripping yeah, them. That's true. That's true. Now you're now you're piqued my interest. I'm going to go and research that. But for the okay. sake of convenience, I, I you know, and I use so many herbs so often. I guess. Uh, but now if I research and find that out, I'm not going to use the scissors anymore. <laughs> All right, oh, great. Yeah. Well, thank you, Yvonne. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure. Come again. <laughs> inshallah, inshallah. Take care, right. everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. So are we no, waiting for... There are going to be no Turkish delights here. Next time. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Take care. You too. Assalamu alaikum.